A South Australian space research centre is preparing to launch a satellite which could help people prepare for bushfire season. Satellite sensors will send data to farmers and researchers who can assess the crop health and even determine which land is at risk of bushfire. This model might seem small, but it's about to take South Australia to great heights. So this satellite can actually look at forests and, and our bush areas and you can sort of things we're looking at is how dry, how dry the, the area may be, how much fuel may be there, the density of the bush. Doing a lap of the earth every 90 minutes, Kanyini isn't just a satellite assessing the ground pre-disaster. And then post bushfire, you can actually have a look at an area and see how badly it's, it's been damaged and then utilise that data to where you put your resources to help, help recovery operations. It's got an artificial intelligence processor too, making Australia one of the first countries in the world to use AI in space. We know that with climate change, we will have more frequent and more severe natural disasters. And we're really gonna be looking towards innovation. We're gonna be looking towards space to help us um, disaster risk and to respond to those emergencies. Kanyini is set to launch in October 2023, after securing a spot on a SpaceX transporter mission. But it is very nerve-wracking to have one of your first satellites being sent into orbit. So we're all working really, really hard to make sure this thing is, is going to be perfect for the, for the launch. A collaborative effort to bring more power to Australia's space industry. Gladys Suruga, ABC News, Adelaide.